that came about because uh, Gloria Calderon Kellett, who is the writer and showrunner with Mike Royce, um, worked on How I Met Your Mother, which is a writer on How I Met Your Mother. And she invited me out for coffee, and she told me that this one day at a time thing with Norman Lear was probably going to happen. And I thought, oh my god, that's amazing. What I want to be part of it. Of course I'd want to be part of it. But somehow she didn't think that was really going to happen. Um, and it even it came down to when Sony wasn't even offering it to me because they didn't think it was, it, you know, it was just one of those crazy things. And I kept saying, why isn't somebody calling me about this? Um, but fortunately they did. Um, and it's been a dream. It is a really good show with spectacular actors and amazing writing. And I got to meet Norman Lear and work with Norman Lear, a guy who at his age is in every casting session and warming up the audience and, and watching the run-throughs and giving great notes. And um, it's been an, an honor to be a part of that show, and I will continue to be. So I'm, I'm, I'm very lucky. So did you just say Norman Lear warms up the audience? I, I absolutely said that, <laughs> and I mean it. He goes up there and he talks to them, and, and one of the things that he says, uh, he talks about this moment in time right now never happening again, and that everything in your life brought you to this moment, and to be so grateful for it. Um, and those are words that resonate with me every day. Um, he's remarkable. But the show is remarkable. Um, Justina Machado and, and Rita Moreno and, and uh, you know, the, the kids are amazing. Stephen Dablowski is amazing. Every, it's one of those things where sometimes magic happens. And the words are so beautiful. Um, it's so current. It deals with such important issues. Um, and it's as moving, I've cried more doing that show than I have on anything, and I've laughed harder. It's just, they, the recipe is, is spectacular, and I, I mean, this is a show, I'm just lucky that they asked me to be a part of it. So talk a little bit more about Justina and Rita. Uh, how much time do you have? <laughs> um, they are truly like mother and daughter. I mean, Rita Moreno, come on. I, in one of the episodes, she had to dance. It's like I'm sitting here watching Rita Moreno dance, but she is so totally committed. She's having the best time. She's as silly as they come, and yet as serious as they come, and as, and as committed, and just does such an exquisite job. Um, and Justina, is pure heaven. Uh, there's nothing she can't do. And what's so interesting watching her is when you do multicam, when you do an audience show, you have to do these scenes multiple times. And she has a way of doing, making something so moving, so spectacular, and then doing it again, and doing it again. I don't, the well is so deep, I don't know how she does what she does. She's a miracle because she is as funny as can be and she will make you cry like that. Um, she's, she's got it all. And uh, to see them together is, is everything. I'm, a, I'm just a fan. I'm, I'm, you know, I, I, I don't know how much directing I do. I, just to be able to be in that audience is, uh, is it's fantastic. Um, why do you think the show was able to successfully make the leap from 80s to now? Well, because as much as it is one day at a time, they have completely changed. They've reinvented it. They've reinvented it for right now. The issues that are dealt with on that show are the issues that we're all facing right now. There's nothing, the, the title is the throwback. The characters, you know, they're, yes, Schneider's there, but, um, and Todd Grinnell, by the way, unbelievable. Um, Todd Grinnell would come in on weekends if we let him. He just, it's so much, they talk about pure joy. He is just pure joy. Um, uh, because the show has been, in fact, reinvented. It's not that show. It's a new show.